Hello, in this video we're going to talk about the stages of labor. So labor can be divided into three stages. First, let us recap the physiology and some terminologies. So normal labor usually occurs after 37 weeks. A full term birth would refer to delivery occurring between 37 to 42 weeks gestation. But during certain situations, during certain circumstances, labor might occur before 37 weeks. If it's before 37 weeks, we call this premature labor. Now remember, labor is divided into three stages. Stage one, stage two, and stage three. Now let's just say a woman is going into labor. She's about to deliver. What is happening? Well, she will enter stage one of labor. Stage one of labor can be divided into two phases, the latent, also known as the initial phase, and the active phase. So when labor begins, the cervix is actually being stretched by the baby due to release of certain factors. The stretching of the cervix will actually send signals to the brain. It will send signals to the hypothalamus and the posterior pituitary gland to release a hormone called oxytocin. Oxytocin will travel to the uterus via the blood and start stimulating uterine contractions. What's more, when the fetus or the baby is ready to go out, it will also release things from itself, which will also stimulate the placenta to secrete chemicals called prostaglandins. And these prostaglandins will stimulate uterine contraction as well. So with all this uterine contraction by the oxytocin and by the prostaglandin, the cervix will actually slowly stretch out even more and the cycle continues. It's a positive feedback loop. The contractions of the uterus are more constant. They, they come in waves, regular rhythm. The contractions during labor is actually defined as being regular, painful contractions. The cervix stretches slowly and you begin to see thinning of the cervix, which is effacement of the cervix, which will progress to the final outcome, cervix dil dilatation. This particular cervix is now three centimeters dilated. I am now drawing the cervix, looking at it from the front. So the vaginal wall is at the bottom here. And as you can see, the cervix is not dilated here. But as the labor progresses, the cervix will dilate. Here, the cervix is about three centimeters dilated. Once the cervix opens to about three centimeters in diameter, or some sources say four centimeters in diameter, the latent or the initial phase of stage one of labor will then enter the active phase of stage one of labor. In the active phase of stage one of labor, the cervix will just continue to dilate. The contractions are regular and more painful. The cervix is said to be fully dilated when it is 10 centimeters. This is where you can see crowning of the baby's head. So looking at the cervix from the front again, here you can see the baby, the placenta and the uterus. The uterus is where the baby is in. And this is crowning, where the cervix is fully dilated and you can see the head of the baby coming down. And this is the vaginal wall. It is really important to know that babies usually are delivered head first. But in some situations, the foot or the legs can come first. This is called breech position. Babies in a breech position can be can be delivered from the vagina, but often they are delivered via cesarean section because of the risks of complication it has um, for normal delivery. The uterus is contracting all this time, remember, because of the oxytocin and the prostaglandins. Recapping stage one. Stage one is divided into the latent and active phase. Regular painful contractions with thinning of Thinning, effacement of the cervix is what happens in stage one until the cervix reaches 10 centimeters dilatation 
or full dilatation of the cervix. After stage one, it will, the labor will progress to stage two. And stage two is from full cervix dilatation until the baby is born. Basically, in stage two of labor, this is where the mother is delivered from the baby. Here is the umbilical cord. Here is the placenta and here is the rectum of the mother. And here you have a fully dilated cervix, which is about 10 centimeters in diameter. During this time, the uterus is still having regular painful contractions. Once the baby is born, it, the labor will then enter stage three. Stage three of labor is essentially the delivery of the placenta. And here is the umbilical cord, which is the connection between the baby and the placenta. In stage three of labor, the placenta is slowly detaching from the uterine lining. The uterus is still contracting at this stage. And actually, during this time, the mother is given an injection to stimulate the delivery of the placenta. The placenta has to be carefully delivered because it can cause hemorrhage if not delivered properly. Once the baby is out, of course, clamps are put on either side of the umbilical cord and then the umbilical cord is cut. It is also routine to get bloods from the umbilical cord for analysis of pH. Blood is taken from the umbilical artery and the umbilical vein. Thank you for watching. I think I will have a video that goes into detail, specifically at stage one of labor, which is again the first stage of three.